Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another manga review. This is going to be on the first volume. Uh, don't, if you haven't seen this on my channel, it's because I haven't done a, a manga uh, haul yet. I'm saving it for later. This is The Promised Neverland. And by just looking at the front cover and not reading anything, you don't really see much. And I'm actually glad when I bought this, I never actually read the back. Uh, the back kind of will ruin a twist. And so, I will have some spoil alert on this one because it is psychological. So if you don't want to hear a little bit about it, if you don't want it to be ruined for you guys, please don't uh, continue. Go to the next video and uh, see it whenever you've read this one. Uh, the problem is Neverland is a psychological slash, I would say, suspense. I wouldn't say horror, but you could say horror, uh, sci-fi, uh, it's more like that for now. Uh, I'll explain. You have these kids who are having basically a happy life. They live in what they believe is an orphanage, and they kind of have this regular life where they wake up, they eat, and they have a happy, playful life, and then it just happens to be that every day, they take these exams that are prompted to them, and uh, they're praised if they do high scoring. You know, ever so often a kid is taken, you know, fostered home or uh, adopted and leaves the orphanage. Then there is rules that they're raised with, and they simply feel like the regular rules, which is you cannot leave the premises and you cannot uh, get close to the gate. That was all the rules, you can't do that. And there's also this one room that I'm supposed to have to open. Um, they don't actually say that until later on in the volume. The, the, the first chapter shows a little girl, a six-year-old girl, being adopted. Um, I'm not actually to a parent, you just see the, the uh, orphanage mom taking her. And when they do this, they do this at night, and uh, there's uh, three kids that are kind of like the main characters. They're the smartest kids in the group, but they're about to be 12. Uh, so they're, they're kind of, you know, the elite, I guess, but they're also the main characters. They, they, they find out that she leaves uh, a bunny behind that she's very close to, so they decide to take it and take it to her. So they escape, and by escape, I literally mean escape because when they actually, the, the, the mom, the ultimate mom, takes the kid, she locks up everything, and there's uh, stuff in the window you can't get out unless you have to eat. They, uh, they're able to open the door, they leave, and when they get there, only two of them actually go, um, they find out this big secret. What is the secret? Um, A, they're actually killing the kid. Horrible. Two, it's not an orphanage, it's actually more of a farm. They're farming these kids because they're actually this kind of like demon looking uh, figures, they actually call them demons, um, are actually using them as meal. So that is a big twist. Uh, the orphanage mom is really just there to make sure the, the produce is taken care of. I mean, that's literally how they look at these kids as just produce and meat. So uh, they found out the secret and, and for the rest of the manga it's been just finding stuff. They find out that the mom has a, 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 a radar that she's able to detect when the kids are moving around now. They then found out that she is not able to detect which specific kid is moving. She just knows that kids are moving. She has this detector. Um, other thing is, uh, so by having a detector, they have to kind of figure out where this, um, you know, tracker is. They eventually figure it out at the end of the volume, and that is it's behind the reader, it's a small thing. Uh, so they find out that. The second thing is, what is outside? So these demons are using them as a farm, so they quickly figure it out. If this is a farm, then there's other farms, and, you know, we're just one of many. Uh, so, if we do escape, what do we do next? Uh, there's one kid who says, okay, we need to escape ourselves as, you know, older kids and let the little ones behind. They're going to throw them. 
the main girl character says, no, I want to take everyone. So right now they're kind of deciding that out. I mean, they, they kind of decided overall if they're going to try to do everyone. But I know the one kid knows that they're going to be the same kid trying to be left behind. Um, there is so much things going on in this, in this manga. It's so good. Uh, if you guys have not heard of it, you guys should. The anime will be coming out in the fall. So I highly recommend it. If you haven't read it, go check it out. Uh, the first volume, I believe, first, second, and third volume actually came out already. So, so much of it is already out for you guys to read. I will be reviewing this one uh, quite often uh, through the volume. So make sure you keep up. I would appreciate all the love. Uh, out of 10, I would probably give this one, as of right now, really an 8 out of 10. It really got me entertained. I didn't put it down. I started it. And I thought that I was going to read one chapter this evening, and I read the entire thing because it was so good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second volume, or the second volume, and the second volume, like you and me, you guys. So thank you so much. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a giveaway pretty soon, so make sure you're subscribed so you know uh, what and when and where and how I'm going to do this giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you so much for all the support and love, guys. And like always, don't be strangers.